Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today's video we're working on a cow that has actually healed herself. One of the first things you notice as I start trimming on this cow is the thickness of the soles, the heels of the soles. And this is a natural defense mechanism for a cow when she uh, has some type of injury. The, her defense is to produce more sole to protect from that. As I start to remove layers of sole, you can see the old white line issue start to uh, reveal itself. And right here, you can see the old fluid from that injury start to ooze out. And this stuff was awful smelling. It, I tried to come up with some way to um, make you guys understand what it smells like. And I, there's nothing that I can think of that smells anything like it. It was terribly putrid and awful unlike anything really that I've ever smelled, and I've smelled a lot of things doing this over the years. As I removed the rest of this double sole here, I expected to reveal uh, more of the injury that had uh, perhaps not healed, but what I found was is a completely new sole underneath and no sign really of that of the old uh, white line issue that was there. The only thing left was a little bit of bruising, which you're gonna see um, in a minute as I uncover it. The interesting thing about front foot lameness on cattle, especially on medial claws like this, is cows are able to uh, almost cross their feet when they walk and what that does is it allows that lateral claw to slide up in front and basically in effect block herself. She's able to take all the weight off that medial claw, that inside claw, and that's what allowed this foot to heal here. And was probably also the reason why this cow was only lame or appeared to be lame for a couple of days and then started to get better. She was able to find a way to change uh, her gait to take the weight off of that and, in effect, hide the lameness. Sometimes when you're dealing with uh, white line issues like this, you can um, have a, an additional false sole. This is not the case with this one. This is sound, but sometimes this, there'll be another uh, layer of separation that you have to take off. But outside of this little bit of hemorrhaging that I'm gonna reveal, um, this foot is sound. This is that hemorrhaging I was talking about. She's got a little bit of hemorrhaging um, near that white line. So I'm gonna put a block on this just to be on the safe side. The white line issue itself is gone. You can see this, this hemorrhaging here is actually on the inside of that white line. Um, but I'm gonna put a block on it just to be safe and give that uh, hoof time to uh, firm up there and she should be good to go. She's also got a little bit of digital dermatitis you can see in that cleft area up between the two toes on the top there. I'm going to treat that um, and wrap her up and as I'm doing that you're going to hear or you're going to see as well the locals show up and start chewing me out. You can hear them now. The guinea hens showed up and realized there's somebody in their house and they don't like it. Uh, 
As always, guys, thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.